In this video, I will discuss the large number of supported fields in Mobile Sheets, as well as the different ways of managing the data in those fields. I will begin by going through the fields displayed on the Fields tab of the Song Editor. Fields such as Title, Keywords, and Custom will allow any text to be entered and can be used when filtering but provide no grouping capabilities. Other fields such as Song ID, Difficulty, and Tempos require numeric value and similarly cannot be used for grouping songs. While the Song ID field can be used for numbering songs in the library, its main purpose is to handle complex library synchronization scenarios, which is covered in detail in a separate video. All of the other fields, such as artist, album, genre, and composers, are called groups. These fields have a dedicated tab on the library screen and allow for the categorization of songs into lists. By default, only a portion of the available fields and tabs are shown. To configure which fields are shown in the song editor, tap Configure Fields at the top of the screen and then select which fields should be displayed. For example, to display the Custom 2 field, check that box and tap OK. The Custom 2 field is then displayed in the list of fields. The list of tabs on the library screen can also be changed by going to Settings, Library Settings, Tab Selection and Order. Tabs to be displayed are shown in the list on the left, while available tabs are shown in the list on the right. This is covered in more detail in a separate video. The Group fields shown on the Fields tab use a specially designed component that allows multiple values to be entered. The same component is used for adding group types on the Import Settings dialog, Batch Import screen, and Batch Edit screen. The fastest way to add a new entry in the component is to enter the desired name with the virtual keyboard and then tap the Confirm button. When typing in a new value, if the characters match the start of any entries in the library, those entries will be displayed in an auto-completion dropdown. Tapping any value in the dropdown will automatically add the value to the field. A blue rounded box will be displayed around the new value, and after the changes are saved, a new group entry will be created in the library, and the song will be added to that group. There is no limit to the number of entries that can be added to a group field. To remove an entry, tap the Delete button on the virtual keyboard, tap the X icon in the blue box, or long press the entry and tap Remove. If the Delete option is selected in the pop-up menu, this will permanently delete the group from the library, which is not reversible. Another option for creating, adding, or removing groups is to tap the drop-down arrow at the far right side of the group control. This will display a dialog with every group of the selected type in the library. Tapping a group in the list will select it and place a check mark next to it. Tapping a selected group will unselect it. To create a new group, tap the New button, enter the name of the group, and it will be automatically selected in the list after it is added. Sometimes it is necessary or desired to edit groups from multiple songs at once. To do this, long press or right-click a song on the library screen to select it, tap each other song that needs to be edited, and then tap Edit at the top of the screen. A dialog will be displayed that shows all of the combined entries for every selected song. Fields will be highlighted in red when there is a difference between each song's value for that field. If the values in a field are modified, 
the box next to that field will be checked, indicating that each song will be modified to use the same values. It is not possible to modify values for individual songs on this dialog. That is only possible through the song editor. To ignore changes for a given field, uncheck the box beside that field. To force all songs to use the same values for a given field, check the box instead. There are a few other options on the library screen for adding metadata. If one of the import drop-down actions is selected while viewing the list of songs for a particular group, that group will automatically be selected on the import settings dialog. I will demonstrate this by importing a file while viewing the C sharp key on the keys tab. We can see that C sharp is entered automatically in the keys field on the import settings dialog. It should be noted that this does not work for batch importing or when importing a CSV file. It is also possible to quickly add songs to set lists and collections on the library screen. If one or more songs are selected, the overflow menu at the top right can be tapped to access additional options, such as create set list from songs, create collection from songs, add to set list, and add to collection. This provides a quick way to create new set lists or collections from selected songs or add them to existing set lists or collections in the library. While it takes a little time to enter values for the song fields in mobile sheets, it greatly improves the ability to filter and organize songs in the library. It opens up the ability to use additional fields in the song title and caption formatting, which is covered in detail in another video. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.